Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, December 30th to the 31st, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please know that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to swap roles as you deem necessary with the characters. In this reading as well as knowing that this could be the past present or future pay attention to energy that is surrounding you if this reading does not resonate with you it could with somebody in your vicinity and you may need to be the messenger use that role with discernment however as not everybody likes to hear messages especially from the tarot all right, Capricorn, thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. I do appreciate it. Thank you for all of your comments. I love interacting with you guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave. Okay, Cappies, let's see what's going on for my Capricorns for the next day. Hmm. I have another card. Okay. All right. So, wow. All right. We have the Ten of Swords here, Capricorn, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Page of Swords. I'm going to get the message from the angels and then start the reading, Cappies. For some of you Capricorns, you're sick of feeling, interesting, they're saying burden. You usually get the burden with the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> this is the Ten of Swords. But you're tired of feeling some sort of burden. You're letting go of this burden, but you're, it's like this feeling that you're letting go of. It could be a feeling of betrayal and being backstabbed, right? But I'm getting anger behind this. Like you're just, you're sick of it. You're fed up. You're just, you're done. So therefore letting it go. It's like you just don't want to hang on to whatever it is that you're hanging on to any longer. Somebody's jealous. Somebody's jealous of, somebody could be jealous of you, Capricorn. But it's like in, or you could be jealous of somebody else. But it's like this angry jealousy. There's like anger involved in this jealous scenario. I'm going to clarify that in a minute. For a lot of you Capricorns, you have this wish, this desire for coming together with somebody. For some of you, it could be somebody specific. For others, it could just be, you know, an idea of a soulmate, twin flame, a, just this intense love relationship. It's been a wish and a desire of yours for a while. And I do feel it will come true. I do feel that this will manifest but it wasn't, it, it, it will not manifest until this is let go of. Because that seems to be the first step in this, in this process here, right? Okay, they're showing me Capricorns doing everything that they can to impress an individual. And I feel like for, for a lot of you Capricorns, you're actually doing research on what will impress this person. What, <laughs> that's my dog snoring in the background, if you hear him. My teddy. 
So I feel that you're doing your research. You're really, you're really doing your homework on this individual because you're figuring out what makes them happy. You're figuring out what makes them laugh, what will get their attention, and you're doing it. This is, it's like you're planning, you're rehearsing for it. That's what I'm feeling. It's very cute. Okay. So let's see, tell me about this Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn. What is this Ten of Swords about? Mm, two of Pentacles, regaining your balance. I think you've realized that keeping these Ten of Swords with within you, right, A, leaves you stuck, right? Releasing these these swords, at least you begin to walk again. You begin to walk again. Yeah, I'm getting that up for a lot of you. You've just been out at sea. It's like you're, you've been lost. You've been lost out at sea. That's what they're showing me. So, and, and this is what, this is what you're sick of. Okay, what's this Five of Swords about? Yeah, missing an opportunity. Four of Cups. Somebody's angry and jealous that they missed an opportunity. Could be with an individual. Okay. Could be with an individual. Now, this can go either way, remember. It could be you thinking you missed an opportunity with somebody, being angry and jealous because of this, or vice versa. Somebody's angry that they missed an opportunity with you and, and it's just feeling angry and jealous. And whoever this is, I'm feeling they're more angry and jealous. Um, the, the anger is coming from being angry at themselves for making uh, a wrong decision. Okay. Yeah, that wrong decision could have been a third party with the Three of Cups here. And this changed their fate. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is actually in your sign now, Capricorn. This is destiny. So, okay. What they're saying is that... I'm not sure... Okay. This third party, okay, this was the wrong decision that somebody made, either you or somebody else, right? A third party. This threw you off the wheel of destiny here or this other person, okay? Now I'm feeling this opportunity is coming back around to get back on this wheel Which makes sense because Jupiter, like I said, just moved into your sign. It's in your first house of self. Okay. So let's clarify this Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. I'm going to do them both together because I do feel that they are connected. The Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Nine of Wands. Hmm, yeah, see, it's always darkest before the dawn, and this is what's going to happen. It's like, you're going to think all is lost, your wishes won't come true, your wish for whoever, whatever, you know, whether it's a person, a specific relationship that you're wishing into existence, it's almost like you're going to give up, and then that's when the miracle occurs, right? That's what I'm feeling is happening here. Time frames are all going to be different for you. Um, and this is coming up for a lot of the signs because Jupiter, this Wheel of Fortune is coming up too. Jupiter is playing a huge part right now. That's the feeling that I'm getting, especially for 2020. So check your degree of Capricorn. Now, whether that's rising, sun, moon, whatever, check all of your planets. Check the degrees and check the degree of where Capricorn is currently because when it hits your degree 
is what I'm feeling is when this is all going to occur. So say it's at the first five degrees of Capricorn, it would be now. If it's at the last five degrees, which is from 25 to 30 degrees, it would be towards the end of next year. Okay, give or take a, you know, a month. But that's what I'm feeling that this is when this is all going to occur. Or at least the point of this wish coming true would be at the point of where your Jupiter is is, is hitting that degree. But this letting go and, and everything else before it will still be happening in 2020. It's, you know, it all needs to play out. So clarify this King of Wands, okay? And this page of, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is clarifying the King of Wands. The clarifying the King of Wands is the Four of Swords. And this is something I told you. You researched, right? You really meditated. You pieced out. You figured out what it is that you needed to do to get this person's attention. We also have temperance here along with judgment. This could possibly be a reunion. If it's not a reunion with somebody that you already know from the past, it could be a reunion with a soul, a soul mate from a past life. But do ask Archangel Michael for help with this. And we also have, this is a number 20, which breaks down to a two and twos are about balance. So I highly suggest that you maintain your balance within your chakras throughout the year of 2020. And work on patience. This is the card of Sagittarius. And what do you know? So is the nine of wands. And Sagittarius is in your 12th house, right Capricorn? I would be really doing a lot of inner work. I think you will be anyway. I think you will be anyway, because I believe you're going to be receiving a lot of epiphanies from spirit from spirits. Okay. All right. Let's get one card for advice for Capricorns. Advice for Capricorns. Advice. Well, see, now I say one and yeah, never stops at one. Ooh, the seven of swords. Don't be lying, cheating and stealing. The tower. Wow and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Don't run away from what you know you're feeling. Okay. Don't be trying to get away with, hmm, this has to do with the King of Wands they're saying. You know it, you know, a, a job, how is that saying? What I'm feeling from this King of Wands is that don't do the least amount possible, right? You're doing your research, all this shit to figure out how to get their attention, how to evoke some sort of feeling in them, whether it be passion or whatever. And they're saying, don't try to get away with doing the least amount possible because that is not going to work. That is not going to work. Know their worth. Because you have the Queen of Cups here, and the Queen of Cups is in touch with their intuition. So listen to your intuition on this one, and open your heart. Make sure that these Nine of Wands exist no longer by the time you get to this King of Wands and you want to approach them. Okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonated with you. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.